So how about if you could make an ice cream with just fruit and egg white and some maple syrup and come up with the most fluffy sorbet that your kids would adore. This is an ice cream that does just that. It has three ingredients. Um, four if you want to add some lemon juice, but uh, it's, it's three main ingredients and it's based on fruit. So this one has 500 grams of frozen fruit. You can use any fruit, frozen bananas, frozen mango, frozen berries. I've done it with virtually everything and it's all worked beautifully. The one thing the recipe asks you to do, which as a nutritionist I don't want to do, is it asks you to put just a little bit of sugar in. So it's just 50 grams of sugar, which isn't a lot over the grand scheme of things. Um, I prefer just to add some maple syrup at the end to taste and just work out how much I'm going to need rather than throwing in a whole 50 grams that I may not need. Um, some fruits like strawberries don't require a lot of sugar, other tartar berries might need a little bit more. A bit of mango and banana will naturally sweeten it up so you might need less. What it does do though, it uses granulated um, sugar which in 10 seconds it grinds to an icing sugar. So you don't need to have icing sugar and sugar in your home because you can make it all from, the, from normal sugar. So again, it saves you money. So let's start the cooking on this. Um, I'm not going to put the sugar in. So I'm going to omit the first bit. So that's the joy of a Thermomix. You can whiz through things you don't want to do and the ingredients you don't want in there. So I'm going to put in my 500 grams of, I've chosen blueberries because that's what I've got and we're in actually in the middle of COVID uh, lockdown at the moment. So uh, that's just one of the things I've got in my freezer at the moment. And we need to boost our immune system. So why not put the blueberries in there? So then I go on to next. It wants two teaspoons of, of lemon juice, optional. I'm just gonna put a little splash in. I don't choose to put too much in there. But again, it's up to you. Next, an egg white. So the egg white is really important. It makes it creamy. It gives it a feel of ice cream that you wouldn't get otherwise. So just separated a, an egg and in it goes. You don't need to spend hours whisking it up because it's going to do it for me. Next, I'm going to insert the spatula while it goes on. So sometimes it asks you to do this. The spatula is really clever. The spatula um, only fits in to, so it won't touch the blade. It has a little, it's German engineered, so they've thought of everything. It has a little point on it, so I can see exactly where this lines up to, so that I can scrape the sides with it. When I'm doing big amounts of food, what I don't want it to do is just puree on the bottom and leave the layer of unprocessed food on top. This allows me to get it moving. It's going to be super loud when I do this, so I'm going to just show you a little bit. It's showing me number five, speed five, for one and a half minutes. Here we go. I don't really need to use this anymore. So that was one and a half minutes. And I just want to show you what this looks like. It's, you can eat it at this stage. Um, so this is what it looks like at this stage. It's frozen and ready to eat out of the tub. And it's like a, it's like a nice dropping soft scoop ice cream consistency. But I'm going to show you what the Thermomix does incredibly well. And that's turn it into a moussey like sorbet. So this is the whisk attachment. It literally just slots in over the top. It's super easy to put in. And I'm going to add a little bit of sugar. I'm going to add maple syrup. I don't want to add too much. I'm just going to add two dessert spoons, which is about 20 mils. And just see if that's enough for me. I find blueberries are quite sweet on their own. Then I'm going to turn this on, go to next. And I'm going to just set it for one minute. Actually, not even that, maybe 45 seconds. On to whisk. You can never have the whisk above number five, otherwise you may cause damage to the whisk. So I'm going to do it on three. And this allows it, I'm aerating it now and, and pushing lots of air into this mix. And I want to show you just what this looks like at the end because it's divine. So this is the best bit. This is the best bit. Um, I want to show you what this looks like from above. So can you see it's completely fluffed up into this absolute whisked up, moussey, frozen gorgeousness of ice cream. I'm gonna grab a spoon and show you what this looks like. So this is, this is the texture of it and it's a beautiful, delicious ice cream that kids 
adore with that moussey, gorgeous texture. Um, what's not to like is delicious. Um, so that's how you make ice cream in three or four minutes in the Thermomix.